Scott with Hammer in Hand. We're here at our uh, Waverly High Performance Edition and we're uh, installing our exterior claddings. So I was going to describe uh, a couple of different components we're using. Uh, we're doing a combination of wood shingles and thin stone veneer and also some uh, board and bat. We're using the uh, zip system here. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a great product. This comes in 4x8 sheets. It's an OSB with a self-adhered membrane on it. It's a rigid membrane. This is our air barrier and drainage plane all in one sheet. It's put up and it's basically done. After we put the sheets up, we have to treat the nail holes and the panel ends. And we did this with a Prosico product. This is a joint and seam filler. And we just treat the seams, treat the nail holes, and treat the window openings. And that's it. This system right here is our drainage plane and our air bearer in one. You can see also, this is one of our window installs. Really simple, just flange installation. Uh, we've used the fast flash system here. And then we have these little 16th horseshoe shims that go in at the bottom of the sill. And this is if we do have a window failure, the water can still weep out. So by using this little horseshoe, this creates a little airspace down here. And then we have a drainage plane at the bottom of our window pan. On top of this system, we're using uh, this Keen drywall system. And we're going to go over that this uh, in a bit here and look at some of how our siding details. This is a drainage mat. It comes in a huge roll, four foot wide and 100 foot long. Rolls out and we just staple it on. And what it does, it's, it's, a, uh, it's basically plastic, so it can't mold, it can't mildew, it, doesn't, it can't retain any moisture whatsoever. This is the back, and this creates the drainage plane. This is the front, it has a WRB on it, already on it. This is all vapor open. This gets stapled up and then our shingles go on top of it. And now we've created this nice tight drainage plane. Um, this stuff's 3 8 thick, so it's, it's, uh, it's 10 millimeter or 3 8 thick. And these sheets uh, just get shiplap down. This piece goes on over the, next sheet, over the next sheet that rolls down. And then it's done, it rolls out really fast. So we're gonna go over and take a look at uh, our uh, shingle sidewall and you can see how it all goes together. Uh, so this Keen drywall lends itself really well to two things. One, it does sidewall shingles really well, and the other one, masonry really well. If we were to do, like, say, horizontal lap siding, we may do wood furring strips or Coravent or another product, but with the shingles, it's so much harder to build a wood lath rain screen, so this sheet good is perfect for it. So you can see these guys are back here starting to install. What we're using is a pre-painted cedar shingle, totally clear uh, vertical grain, painted on five sides, goes up, it's a lifetime product right there. I mean, you can't really build a cedar rain screen any better than this. So you can see the guys behind me were basically kind of setting it up in an old school way. We got one guy loading shingles the whole way across. We got another guy just coming through and stapling. We're using a stainless steel staple so it doesn't uh, stain. And we just run the whole way across and set these courses up. So this is, uh, this is going to be our thin stone masonry veneer wall. Again, we're using the Keen drywall system. And then it gets a uh, expanded metal lath over it. They screw it on an 8 inch on center. And uh, right here, this is a casing bead. And what we use this casing bead for is basically a termination point. So where we've got stone or stucco to wood, we need an expansion joint. Even though this wood's primed four sides, it's still with seasonal movement, it's gonna expand and contract. So this piece of wood is gonna be a trim board and we'll have uh, shingles that come up to here. And then this gets back a rod and a caulking joint and then stone veneer up to this face right here. Really nice system. We use this casing bead at all window intersections, wood intersections, anywhere we got where we have uh, 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 stone interfacing with metal wood. Uh, you can see down here we've used, to kind of create the whole drainage plane, I ended up using this uh, stainless steel flashing and it has a, a back leg that uh, ties in with our uh, drainage plane, that would be the sheathing. And uh, this is essentially our brick ledge, the stone starts on top of that. And we're going to leave the joints open between the stone, just at the very bottom, and that's going to allow air movement in to the rain screen. And then we're going to do the same thing at the top where air movement can go out. So the whole system's back vented because masonry loves to wick a lot of water. Moisture, water vapor uh, it travels through, and we need a way to mitigate that. 